How's everybody doing today? Hey there, Travis Mears here, professional shotgun shooter for Fab Arm and Seize Green USA. We're out here at the game fair in uh, Ramsey, Minnesota. And as you can see here, I got grandstands behind me. And uh, we're gonna do some trick shooting this weekend. I've got six shows this weekend. I did six last weekend. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm shooting the Fab Arm Chesapeake XLR. This is an awesome shotgun. And I'm gonna take you along real quick and we're gonna get this thing polished up, ready for a big weekend of shooting. Hey there, we're at uh, Game Fair in Minnesota. It's the 42nd Game Fair and I've been coming for the last five or six years and doing trick shows and so uh, I come up for two different weekends and do six shows each weekend for a total of 12. Um, last weekend, uh, six shows, two of them were in the rain and I didn't clean my, my uh, fab arm shotguns at all um, throughout the weekend and didn't have any trouble. But going into the second weekend, I wanna make sure that especially since they got rained on, um, that they're in good conditions going into um, this, this weekend show. So um, last weekend I shot right around 2,000 shells and like I said, two of the shows were in the rain. So we're gonna go through these guns real quick and just make sure that they're in good working conditions. This is the Fab Arm Chesapeake. It's an XLR, um, awesome gun for me. It's got, oh, lost that. <laughs> that was my extension. That's a Briley carbon fiber extension, holds 13 rounds, which uh, allows me to do some pretty rapid shooting. These guns, uh, I wouldn't say are necessarily made for that, but I put them to the test and, and they do really well for me. Um, so, really easy to take apart. I'm gonna pull that pin there, action, and uh, everything comes out. So we'll just clean them up real quick. Won't take more, more than a couple seconds to uh, get them polished up. I just travel with a, a ball of uh, oil and some pliers and the pliers are just to help push the pins out so I can get the trigger group out. What I'm doing with these uh, shotguns is kind of out of the norm. High volume, rapid shooting, and just uh, really putting them to the test. Oftentimes in a show, because of the, uh, the rate that I'm pulling the trigger, the barrels get so hot you can't hardly touch them. Uh, and so that's why I travel with two guns. I already cleaned the other one. It wasn't bad considering uh, the amount of shooting I did last weekend. Um, but again, I'm in front of a live crowd. We wanna make sure that the guns are in the, the best possible condition they can be. Um, you know, it's funny to think about when somebody buys a gun like this, you know, oftentimes they're buying it for hunting or for target shooting. Um, and in those scenarios, you don't do what I do. You might shoot 2,000 shells in, you know, four or five seasons where I do it in uh, a total of, you know, probably three hours. So it's a lot of shooting, uh, pretty abusive on the guns. The, uh, the Fab Arm Chesapeake, and prior to that, I was shooting the Griffin. And uh, with, what I'm doing right here is just uh, where the piston is, there's some carbon buildup and just to easily scrape that off real quick. Hit it with a rag and it polishes up real nice. So back to, you know, you kind of see a little bit of residue there. Um, but anything that will slow the action down, I want to kind of spray, make sure it's clean, lubricate, and uh, get ready for another busy weekend of shooting. Where the action bar slides here, sometimes we'll have a little carbon buildup. The action bar is, is uh, what controls the bolt and it also slides on the mag tube here. And so making sure that that is nice and clean, uh, make sure that the, the gun can shoot at the, at the highest rate speed wise. When I open the show, I shoot uh, a paint can and I'll dump 13 rounds in less than two seconds. And I need the gun to go off every time I pull the trigger. And so making sure that uh, all the moving parts are, you know, decently clean, uh, makes, makes sure that the gun's gonna be, you know, functioning properly. During the show, if you haven't seen one of them, I, I throw the guns, obviously in a safe manner, I, I drop them on the table, I grab another one, um, shoot rapid, you know, I'll throw up six targets in the air and shoot as fast as I can. And uh, then obviously on the paint can, there's a lot of shooting going on. I'm always impressed by this. This is the, uh, the action group on the Chesapeake after 2,000 shots of no cleaning. Um, it's clean. 
I can just wipe it off real quick and no oil needed or anything like that. I don't know how it's so clean. I'm shooting Fiocchi uh, Game and Targets, which is a one ounce 1250 uh, target load. Probably be good for dove hunting, quail hunting. This is the action bar I was talking about right here. It slides inside the receiver and the bolt sits on top of this right here. So I'm gonna polish this up. Any kind of uh, buildup on the, the sides here can slow the action down. So I'll just hit them real quick with a rag. Um, I don't know what it's made of, but it, I never have to use a, you know, brass brush or anything like that. It's real, real easy to clean, clean the inside. This runs on the mag tube. So just make sure that it's, uh, polished up. Grab the bolt. Okay. You can see the firing pin there and, uh, just kind of hit that real quick. You know, when I put this thing back together, it's show ready. And in my mind, it's clean. But <laughs> sometimes when a, the gunsmiths uh, at, five arm, at Five Arms see my guns, they think, you know, how the heck is that thing running? Because my clean and their clean are different. But uh, I just need to make sure that it's functioning properly for the shows. This is the gas piston. As you can see, it gets a little carbon buildup on it, especially after a couple thousand rounds. Real easy to clean. I just spray it with a little oil. Hit it with a brass brush. This is not as dirty as uh, as it is sometimes, but I'll just kind of spin it around. Get off as much carbon as I can. Pretty easy stuff here. Low maintenance on these guns. Always impresses me. I've got a show here in, I don't know, an hour and a half or so. And, um, you know, I'm not worried about stripping these things down because it doesn't take me long to get them polished up and, and ready. I don't suggest everybody get their stuff as dirty as me, but if you use it like I do, you will. And you can still be confident that it's gonna work when you need it to work. You know, when the pressure's on, the ducks are coming in or the geese are coming in or the targets are being thrown, you got to have confidence in your equipment. And uh, I'm always confident when I step out in front of a crowd to shoot because these guns are awesome. So once I hit it with a wire brush, I can just take the rag and kind of polish it. Stick the rag here on my finger and kind of get the inside a little bit. Obviously when I'm home and have more equipment, I've got a drill gun that's got a, a wire brush on it um, that fits in here nice and I can just kind of run it in, spin it for a little bit, let it get hot, run it in. Um, but because I've done that so many times, now the carbon doesn't build up really on it that much. And so pretty easy to clean. On the, uh, inside the action, this is uh, attached to the barrel obviously. And, and I don't know if this being dirty matters at all, but I always just kind of hit it with oil and make, make it shine and uh, make sure everything's in good condition. People always ask me about cleaning my guns and I don't, you know, I don't do it as much as I probably should, especially shooting in the rain last week, I've got I wasn't worried about these guns rusting. These these Chesapeake's are uh, Cerakoted, and so, you know, I wasn't really worried about rust at all. I just kind of hit them with a rag so the water wasn't sitting on them and threw them in the case and, and flew home. And then here I am flying back up to Game Fair to, to do it all again. Um, most of the time, the, the worst part of my gun is the fact that it's got cabbage and everything else you know watermelon and tomatoes on it and so i worry about that more than you know carbon build up because it just looks nasty and <laughs> but that's you know that's what i do so again my handy pliers here knock that pin in short one goes from the other side a couple taps drive it in 
at that point at that point we're putting this gun back together i'll grab my action bar and put the bolt on it pretty easy it just uh literally sits on top there and that will slide over piston there push it down put the charging handle in it goes uh right in one hit and it's done now my gas piston we're sliding okay no resistance on that which means the gun's going to be moving quick when i pull the trigger a couple of sprays of oil on the action bar that was a tip and trick that the gunsmiths told me uh, to keep these guns running as fast as possible at this point it's time for the barrel okay gun's uh, feeling good already hit it with the fore end uh, for what i'm doing i'm shooting um, with an extension so i've got my spring here you saw it shoot off a second ago these are briley extensions and i actually just got some new ones so you saw the carbon fiber one shoot off a second ago um but now i'm going to be using the new extension for the shows this weekend which i think are awesome they're like honeycombed again these are briley's and they you can find them on their website since this is brand new and i don't know how many this one holds the carbon fiber one i took off i think holds 13. i've got a shorter honeycomb that holds 10. this one probably is going to be 12. Um, but easy as that we're show ready and uh hope that y'all can run out and get you a chest peek do some shooting thank y'all for watching again this is travis mears professional trick shooter and uh sporting clay shooter for fab arm and Caesar Greeny, and uh, glad to take you along. Thank you.